Welcome back. Well, it's Monday, and that means it's time for another weather question from a viewer. This time around, Darina asks, what do the precipitation chance percentages actually mean? And I have to say, of all the forecast variables in, that we express in the weather report each day, I think the precip chance is probably the least understood. On that seven-day forecast, you'll often see percentages uh, representing our chance to see precipitation that day. Generally, the higher the number, the better chance that you'll see rain or snow that day. Those numbers, though, are not arbitrary. There's actually a mathematical formula that's involved. The formula has two parts. The uh, first part is the percentage of the viewing area where precipitation can be expected within a specific time period. The second part is to express an area of uncertainty. All forecasts do come with a degree of uncertainty. Of course, nothing is a guarantee. We do our best to, our best to express this uncertainty, and often we can express it using a percentage. So let's look at an example. On the map shown, approximately 80% of the viewing area is shaded. And that area represents the area that has a chance of seeing rainfall on our example day. However, assuming a hit or miss shower situation where some areas see showers and others don't, we'll apply a 50% factor of uncertainty. Multiplying the two together produces a precipitation chance of 40%, and that is the number that you would see on the seven-day forecast for that day. We do use other words to describe the chances of precipitation as well, and those words often can correspond to an actual percentage chance. For instance, on a day with a 20% chance of showers, you might hear me say the words isolated or scattered, while on a day with a 70% chance of rain, you might hear me say numerous showers, or showers are likely. This is just another way of expressing that chance of precipitation. So thank you to Darina for that question. And if you have a question you want to ask a weatherman, submit your question to me via Facebook or Twitter, or you can email me. And be sure to tune in to Mornings on Fox 11 every Monday for Ask a Weatherman, and I'll send it back over to you, Alex. And no better.